for that. Then um, yesterday uh, you explained some places you've been, uh, like director and conductor, yes. but too like coach. Which places your choice to feel something? Well, that comes always automatically. Uh, once, when I go sometimes for the first time, and people see me at the conductor, and then after a few days we speak and we have more conversations. And then I discovered that I don't do only conducting, but I also do coaching people. I try that the people can work on themselves. I try to educate them, listen, you have more in yourself than only playing violin or playing an instrument. You have much more. And mostly in the world, what's the difference between a consultant and a coach? The consultant will always agree with you, what you do. But the coach, he agrees with you too, but in a different way, in the opposite way. And so he wants to make the best of you. The best examples in the sport, uh, if you have Mr. Bolt, when he was running so fast, uh, well, a consultant will say to him, your 10 seconds are fantastic. But the coach will say, man, your 10 seconds are too slow. I want 8 seconds for the 100 meter. Of course, so yeah. he's pushing, pushing to have a better result, pushing to have more from a human being. And that's what I do in my conducting. I try to get the best out of the ensemble, the best of the humanity. That's what I try to get out. Some people are nervous with that, I know that. Because giving yourself, it's not given to everybody. Because most people are a little bit nervous. Why should I give my, it's totally to the life. But life is art. And the art is life. So profit from that. And if you profit from that, I think the world opens for you. All the time. And I think if you coach in that way, I think you make many people happy. But at least I try. <laughs> for moments, you like conductor, uh, director, coach too. Yeah. You take some exigence of your students to be perfect and successful. Well, uh, I try to teach that they can live on their own. I try to teach that they can do it without. And then later on they can say the same thing to the next generation. Because in fact, uh, life is uh, just a following up. It's always a new generation after about seven years. And maybe the, the technical support is changing. But in fact, the human being stays the same. It's with animals actually the same thing, I think. They always be the same, they have the same instincts. And uh, human beings have also instincts. The only difference is we have a brain. Right, but that's the truth. And that we have to develop, our brain. And if you can develop your brain with intelligence, but how do this? I developed, for example, a triangle. Yes. And I put in a triangle one side art, the other side inspiration. And on the down bottom line, I put management. Fantastic word from Americans. Management. It's yes. always big. But what happens in this triangle if you put away the inspiration? This side falls down. Well, yeah, that that means that the other side has no support. So the art falls down also. What are you doing then finally? Only management. And in the coaching world they call that monkey business. And unfortunately I think there are too many monkeys in the world.